Hello, hello, welcome. This is Ali J, Ascended Stars, and thank you for watching my channel. I'm so pleased to be doing your love reading for the month of May. Let's figure this stuff out. All right, so I'm using my chakra cards. I'm using the um, Dreams of Gaia, the astrological cards, and Rider Waite, and some oracle cards. So <clears throat> let's get into it. And today is the day after the full moon on the 8th of May. And we want to know what love has in store for my beautiful Virgos. And I just did this. I just created this spread with, um, yeah, so with Libra's energy, actually. So I am loving this spread right now for the love, uh, for the love readings. And there will be uh, a special down below if you are into it as well and you're enjoying these readings they're about 20 minutes and um, they tell you about your person tell you about this is the, the intention to tell you who, you know who's who's here for you when you get out of your way <laughs> when you get out of your own way who's here for you my Virgos okay so I'm going to put these um, literally you know facing my way and then we'll go ahead and once I figure out what the messages are I will face them your way and I already shuffled but I just dropped a bunch of cards that was too many all right so let's see here for my beautiful Virgos we want the highest guidance messages regarding their love life where they need to go what they need to focus on uh, it's all about relationships now we do have um, Mercury going direct so you don't have to worry about that but we have other planets that are going to be quite um, affecting us but I think because Mercury is direct I think we'll be able to move through these energies until it gets retro but we won't, we'll get into that later so let's see what we have for you we got two extras here for you so there's extra messages for my Virgos okay so seven of wands so um, Your partner, uh, their belief, your future partner, your future partner, they having a hard time um, standing on firm ground regarding what they believe. Their belief system is shaky. Okay, that's what I'm picking up. Their belief system is a shaky, rocky belief system. And because of this, they are, they have a roving eye. I have to laugh. I'm sorry. I laugh at inappropriate times. But um, I think when it comes to you, Virgo, they really have a tender spot for you. And this looks like a love connection that's wanting to come. Okay. They may not be the most secure person or feel the most confident almost I'm picking up. But um, let's see what else we have. Yeah, there's a lot of insecurity here and they, they're threatened about something. Um, maybe just falling in love at this time. And, but there, yeah. Okay, so this could be your energy too. Like you might be really stressed out about meeting someone and, you know, um, but there seems to be that this is a sincere love and it's growing and thoughts this person needs to be calmed down either you or this person needs to be calmed down by soothing more uh, somebody who understands them somebody who's compassionate somebody who is patient somebody who um, takes the time to discover them or you interesting energy okay so we'll leave this but you got, let's not forget, you really, you have the two of cups here. So this is really beautiful energy. This is a love connection. Uh, Ace, I mean, the queen of wands at the bottom of the deck. So you have to be in your power, my Virgos. Stay in your power. You're being represented by the, the, the queen of wands. So that means that um, you're very desirable to this person. Okay? Very desirable to this person. Or vice versa. This person's very desirable to you or it goes both ways but you know if, if this is at the bottom 
follow right now it's a, it's a fierce it's go time for virgos because you ain't got nothing stopping you everybody's like getting held up by these outer outside planets but you mercury Merc mercury's online baby mercury's online and we are just like shooting along okay and we know we know a lot like we know these energies how to move through them because we've seen that we've, we've seen through the veil a lot of my virgos have already seen through the veil like ages ago it's like um people are playing catch up and basically it's our it's go time for us to get ready for all the flocks that are waking up but anyway that's a side note let me look at your cards here for love gratitude grief and recovery all right so wow this person um this person really seems to be like uh very grateful for having you in their life but they're they've gone through some hard times they have seen some hard times here they have experienced um they're also loyal to something like they have a lot of gratitude okay so they're they're aware that you're a good person and that you're here for them and that you're in their life for a reason like they kind of get it like they're they're not stupid like they're not asleep asleep per se okay and then we have grief so that means that they have like with the dog there it's like they're remaining loyal to something that they haven't fully let go but this could be you too virgo they haven't fully let go and you maybe haven't fully let go so maybe you are mirroring each other but you have this beautiful energy here of like you already know what the answer and what the key is for your happiness um it's about accepting we have an energy of receptivity of receiving okay now let me take a look at what characteristics wow this person is like oh my god and we got that's why we got that extra card oh wow you got a couple okay so you got a couple here this person can very much understand you they're very intuitive and they can they, they can connect with you it's not a couple it's a it's a like an older younger thing mm, okay they're just seem this person's gonna grow with you Virgo like it looks like they're gonna get out of their comfort zones and grow because you are um, you had that camp you this is it because you have enough kindness and understanding and compassion to give them the space to grow okay so this this is beautiful so you they're they're gonna grow from being like less mature they, they have a desire they have in, inside their soul they want to mature okay uh, they want they want to evolve they want to grow spiritually that's why the gratitude card is here this person um, is expanding their soul right now they're growing okay they're really opening up their heart and um i think they've really called they've called you into their life in a way like they've been wanting somebody who can get them and understand them and so i feel like they've been I mean, their higher self has been truly desiring this um and it, here it is and here it is uh, that part that higher wisdom of theirs is is dormant okay uh, it seems to be like what I'm picking up is that they can access their higher self through you Virgo like they're like you maybe can see them in a different way that others don't okay it's 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 really interesting energy so this is what you, unifies you guys because this person sees that you see them and this could be why they have so much anxiety because their whole life they haven't been seen in in the right light they haven't been accepted for who they are and it seems like 
you you guys get each other right you, you you know you guys have both a full cup coming on board here with the two of cups and um this person understands how life works they understand it's almost like they really get it they really get how life works oh my god this is fascinating <laughs> this is they really get they they have um They've had to reach hard knocks. They've had to, they've they've been kicked down a couple times, you know, and they've had to resurrect. I get the energy of they've resurrected. They have resurrected themselves from some depths of some pretty heavy stuff, okay? And because of that heavy stuff, they um, are su super sensitive. Like they're super uh, aware of things. And I don't know how else to say it, but they just are aware of, some life circumstances, more mortality. Maybe it's it's they're aware of mortality. Okay, they're aware of mortality is what I'm picking up. And then um, they could be younger than you, Virgo, or you could be younger than them. All right, this could be vice versa for you know it could be somebody who's older who's gone through a lot who um, sees your light, sees you for who you are, and and um, but it, it but we have the energy here of. This person, they, they're, they're like you. They're pretty inquisitive. Like they don't just take things. This person doesn't take things at face value. They, uh, they have their own inner wisdom. They do their own research. Or, or they have some kind of way of getting information quickly. Like they have, I mean, it's called the internet. But I don't know. Like maybe they have a, they have a portal or they have a connection to the divine. Maybe they... They are psychic themselves. Maybe you two are very psychic with each other is what I'm picking up. Because I'm picking up Pluto, seeing the owl here. And um, this person doesn't need too much for them to get it. Okay, they might be not come across like, like they're really super smart. But when you start talking, like you guys get each other. And see, we have the key twice here. Oh my God. Okay, we have the key twice. Okay, we have the key here and we have the key around it this person's neck right here I'm not sure if you can pick up on that now I saw that skull as the as the Pluto card so it's like this person I think has really been I'll, I'll show you the other cards but see I'm doing an intuitive reading so this is not going to necessarily give you you know if I show you the cards um, the same information that I saw because I'm looking at this from a whole different perspective okay the way that I do my reading right now with these Gaia dream of Gaia decks is intuitively and so this person is is um, they're a reader they're they could educate themselves they're they're self educator okay they have taught themselves things they have taught themselves skills they have taught themselves um, what they like they don't let anything stop them like when they like something they'll go for it and, and they'll they'll just they'll go for it they're, they're not like waiting for school or whatever their 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 mind is very f fertile is w what i can tell you so you guys can speak about a lot of different topics and things like that okay so we have the cancer energy this energy is emotional sensitive caring and loving it may concern family a mother or child so this this person um may not have had the mothering that they needed because here we go they're very intuitive though Okay, that's very interesting. That's this is a very intuitive person, and Scorpio more intuition. Damn, a lot of water here. <laughs> this energy is intense, masterful, thoughtful, magnetically charming, but also secretive and possessive. I would definitely go with this here. Like this is kind of giving me the same vibe, where Scorpios are super smart and they do their own investigative work and they just dig in and dive. So. This person, I think, has been wanting a person of, you know, like a co connection. This person has been yearning for a connection, I feel like, for a while. And they're finally getting it. Okay. So let's see uh, some more here. What I can do with the surrender cards. What you need to surrender. It says surrender to spirit. Once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal, turn the situation over to the divine. Let spirit work its magic for you. So 
you don't have to do anything to get this okay you just have to be you virgo you just have to connect to your higher self to your higher realms um be at peace do your work unfold who you are um oh and here speaking of peace our your soul card is peace i am a being of love and i release all negative energy so this is like just a little bit of more purging for you to do it could be for this individual or for you where this will be brought to you but you need to just allow allow we have a lot of this receptive energy of the feminine to allow okay let things happen all right so we have three more cards karmic completion yeah so you're still karmically releasing or they might be karmically still releasing what needs to be released it could be uh happening as we speak it could be this month it's done uh one and done we don't need uh too much work because we have 11 individuality okay so it is about for you virgo and for perhaps your partner to um detach yourself from the past okay we still right here the past the loyalty to the past the way that things releasing the things that you thought the way things that were going to work out being loyal to um a false memory a false positive right so this is uh your chance to really shine and to really be yourself and to be going for it like i said mercury is full throttle um we have mars right now that's that's doing pretty well because that's not in retrograde so this this red energy just tells me you will have the energy this month you will have all the tools in your toolkit to get you to the next um level and and so i think you have to really focus on that for yourself but also i got parenting so it's you're going to be held if your parents are going to be held very responsible for your for your children you know like you're the one you're the you're the main person okay so you have to um remember that and I'm, there's no space for this but i'll put it on top of here and then we have innocence yeah because virgo knows about innocence you rule innocence you know you are the virgin so it's about protecting your children and their innocence maybe you have a lot that still like you know to contend with either you're waking them up into the real world and how to do things like i know i'm doing that with my my son as a single mom um and it's very time consuming <laughs> that's going to inter interrupt this love connection over here and also with the caretaking and that's one my a big theme i'm a caretaker i got a lot of cancer and virgo energy in me so this is huge we're caring for the elderly you know you we have the compassion the kind this person um maybe was a caretaker maybe that's how they have this compassion and they have they, they'll understand you virgo okay so we have our past life cards we have authority figures so um there's a theme going on with authority figures. I, mean, I don't know what it is. I can pull a card on that, which I don't mind because these are kind of cryptic, cryptic energies. Let me pull the, um, gosh, man, Virgos, you're making me hunt. You're making me. Let me pull the psyche cards. Oh, you can hear the plastic on my chair. Okay, here we go. Give me a, a a card for authority figures as a clarifier the beast this person's a little bit of a rebel this person does not respect authority so this person's going to go against a lot that probably the immaturity maybe this is why they need the compassion maybe they just they do what they do okay because this is this is, could be a lot of rebellious energy right here this is um very aquarius type of energy to me um thinking outside the box being an innovative uh wanting what they want not not paying attention to the guidelines and the rules so this person is a rebel a little maybe a little bit of a bad boy bad girl type of thing which your girls do like and then we have vows 
this is past life energy okay coming in for the month of may and we don't know what this is like this person uh you know they could have like i said a roving roving eye keeping their options open and not paying attention to the authority to the law okay this is saturian energy that could be an issue you can't just do what you want okay so you might have you might be the voice of reason to this person that is what i'm saying you might be the voice of reason now bowels and now why would bowels and now be there maybe because this person was karmically meant to come into your life now because i don't feel like many of the virgos that have this person in their in their presence but it's coming and you got peace again this wow so this relationship wow so this could lead to vows oh my god like this could lead to vows how beautiful how beautiful omg okay i'm not gonna say anything that's what i pick up i'm gonna leave it there but let's do the oracles i got three uh oracle or i don't know how many want to come out couple oracles oracle um gem oracle reading here precious gem oracles let's see what energies you can leave us off with oh this is a beautiful energy it's self-acceptance <laughs> rotocross site when you have self-acceptance you don't need anybody to come along and put their wand on you and go ding I make you prince. I make you king. No, you are queen. You are king. So self-acceptance. What does it say? It says, I fully accept myself and know that I am worthy of great things in life. Wow. So this is um, finally feeling worthy for that love. Finally going for it. You know, I think it's this Mars energy that, you know, Mars is the ancient ruler of Scorpio. And it's like that drive. It's like that animal, that animalistic thing. And, and. You know, people always say, well, I know Virgos are so sexual, but once we have full throttle and we get, we feel comfortable, it's like, hey, we're just as down as, as those fire signs too. But it's just getting past those barriers for those, you know, because we, we've seen so much, we feel so much, we've been betrayed so much in past lives, our polarities, Pisces. Okay, so listen, here's what I have for you for the guidance. Oh, bummer loves right at your doorstep but you gotta retreat thanks a lot universe <laughs> that's tough oh music well just retreat and listen to music maybe your person is a is a musician okay also that could be that you could um they could be very it could it's very po possible oh, because they want you to focus they want this one popped out they want you to focus on yourself right now and, and what it is that you need to get involved in um what do you need to focus on like focus on your family okay and there's still purging to be done here i kind of for some of you i feel like you guys are going to have a lot of sexual chemistry a lot of um connection physical connection so it could be a lot of like romping around almost energy is what i pick up so but i don't know why retreat is here pull let's pull up which one should i pull the side i'll pull a psyche for the retreat why is that here oh this one came out liberation liberation came out on top of so i'm getting two energies like either some some people are coming out of a retreat energy of like hibernation you know because we are going to be i guess and may hopefully be out of this quarantine and we're going to be um you know after this this time we'll feel liberated we'll go out we'll go out but there's a little snake there. So i just a lot of sexual energy guys a lot of sexual energy for you up this month of may okay just want to pick it up a lot of sexual energy so you know be very careful health conscious um <laughs> i guess with sexual energy that's six feet apart don't matter but anyway i'm I'm not here to judge i'm just here to tell you what the reading is how i see the, the energy how i interpret it i hope you like it i hope uh i hope you have a great month i hope you do meet the love of your life as well so um like i said this type of reading you know is a general to so take what is resonates and what doesn't but also um i do have it down below as a special and uh, much love and light take care
thumbs up, subscribe. Till next time. Bye-bye.